Did you know that 90% of new Google ad campaigns lose money in their first month? But here's what most people don't know, that you can actually transform a losing campaign into one that makes you thousands of dollars each and every month. But how do you do this? Well, let me show you the safest and easiest way to do this so that you don't waste thousands of dollars. If you're not sure it's possible, have a look at this account. In their first month, they spent less than $1,000, barely generated any leads but we followed our proven three-step formula and from month two onwards, it started producing leads. And now about 10 years later, it still produces consistent leads and even spends $60,000 per month. And to make it super easy for you, if you are interested in learning all the steps in optimizing your Google ad account, I highly recommend you download our audit checklist. It contains a list of every aspect of your Google ad account, which you can optimize. And this checklist obviously goes into a lot more detail than this video. So definitely check it out. So the overall strategy we use follows a very simple three-step process we call map. And I'm going to walk you through it in this video. But first, a lot of people don't realize that Google ads is really not set and forget. You can't just launch a campaign, never touch it again and expect it to produce leads consistently. Even though that's exactly what Google would love you to do as you'll burn through thousands of dollars without seeing any results. So the first step in our map process is measure where we're going to measure the profitability at the overall account level. Unfortunately, many business owners spend money month after month on their Google ads with no clue if their actual account is profitable or not. It's kind of like running a physical store without ever checking if your sales are covering your rent and your employee costs. You wouldn't do that, right? That's why step one is always to zoom out and get a clear bird's eye view of your entire account. Ask yourself this, overall, am I making money from my ads or losing money. This step is crucial. It gives you a baseline before you start fixing, adjusting and tweaking and scaling any, anything. Let me show you exactly what this looks like inside a real Google ad account. So as you can see in this Google ad account, although I cannot reveal what industry this particular client is in, all you really need to know is that they're aiming to get leads for under $200. And what we want to look at when we go into our Google ad account is this bottom row here, the total at an account level. So I can see that this account has spent $14,000, but they've generated 122 leads at a cost per lead of $115. So they are generating money. They are not losing money with their ads. Their ad account is profitable. Now you might be wondering what kind of metrics should you be aiming for? And that's a really good question. So while averages can be somewhat misleading as a general guideline, what we aim for is at least a 5% click through rate of our ads. And the click through rate is this metric here. And if you're not sure what that means, you can just hover it over and it will give you the definition. And as it says here, it's calculating by dividing the number of clicks your ad received to by the number of times your ad was shown. So we want at least a 5% click through rate and ideally a 5% conversion rate, meaning the percentage of people who clicked who actually became a lead. And as you can see here, our click-through rate is a, is a whopping 17%, which is fantastic, but our conversion rate is just under 5%, so 3.54, so it does need a little bit of work. Which takes us to step two in the MAP system, which is Analyze, and this is all about identifying exactly where your account is losing money and then ideally fixing it. Even if your account looks profitable overall, like this particular ad account that I just showed you, or at least breaking even, you might have individual campaigns that are quietly bleeding cash behind the scenes. Like imagine you have five salespeople on your team. One salesperson is absolutely crushing it, consistently making sales and hitting their targets, while the other four just really aren't selling anything. So whilst your overall sales numbers might look really okay and good, imagine how much better they'd be if the other four salespeople started performing too. So this is the exact scenario which often happens inside Google ad accounts. So your job at this stage is to pinpoint exactly which specific campaigns are losing money and dragging down your overall results. 
For example, take a look at this specific campaign here. It is clearly unprofitable. The cost per lead of $1,252 is way higher than the other campaigns and it's at an unprofitable level. It only converts at 1.49%. So the good news is once you've identified an underperforming campaign, we can actually take steps to find exactly what's causing this issue and ideally we can fix it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the campaign, you're gonna click on the campaign and you're gonna insights and reports and go to search terms. This will tell you the exact terminology that people typed into Google that triggered your ad and you wanna ask yourself, are you paying for irrelevant clicks that you can easily prevent from happening in the future? Is Google also showing your ads for searches that aren't even relevant to your offer? Those types of terms in your search term report is wasting money. And the solution is really easy. You just need to add negative keywords. Negative keywords are words or phrases that you add to your campaign to tell Google exactly which searches you don't want your ads to appear for. This will reduce irrelevant clicks, improve your click-through rate over time, and importantly, save you money because you're not gonna be wasting money on irrelevant clicks. So you need to regularly review your search term report and add in negative keywords, and you will steadily improve your campaign performance and profitability. If you're not sure how to add negative keywords, simply navigate to the keyword section on the left here, under audience keywords and content, under keywords, and then this negative keywords tab, and then you add in your negative keywords in there simply by clicking on this plus icon. So now you know how to improve your click-through rate, Next, we're gonna talk about boosting your conversion rate. Improving your conversion rate is one of the most powerful ways to increase profitability. Why? Because you're already paying for that traffic, right? So by converting more of those clicks and visitors into leads or customers, you're simply getting more results for the same amount of spend. So you're gonna go back to your search term report, rank by click, so click on the clicks column to find the terms that people are typing in that people are actually clicking on, and then have a look in your conversions column to find the search terms that are not generating you any leads. These are keywords or search terms that are driving traffic, but very few leads and sales, and that's a really big red flag. And it can usually mean one of two things. The first is that you might be driving the wrong type of traffic. Maybe you're targeting really broad, top of funnel keywords like how-to searches, for example, when your goal is actually intent-driven, you want sales. So instead, shift your focus to be more specific and buyer intent type phrases. And these searches are really for people who are ready to buy right now. They're ready to take action. The second is that you're sending good traffic to the wrong landing page. Your landing page or website must match the visitor's intent. If someone searches for a product to buy, don't send them to a blog post or an informational page. Send them directly to a clear and compelling sales page with a clear call to action. Really, the search term report is so powerful because it really puts you directly into the mindset of someone who's gone to Google searching for something. You can see exactly what they're thinking and looking for at that very instant. So your goal here is simple, is to align your search term intent with the ad copy and your website's message. Everything should match perfectly. But sometimes when the traffic is perfect, your landing page still struggles. And in that case, you can test some changes like make stronger and clearer headlines, more compelling call to actions, like buttons or links um, to visitors to buy or to sign up. Trust signals are really good, like testimonials or reviews or guarantees to reassure visitors that they're making the right choice. So by regularly reviewing your search terms, refining your keyword targeting and optimizing your landing page, you'll steadily boost your conversion rate and ultimately your profitability. Now we move on to step three in my map system, which is to power up the winners. Here we're gonna take what's already working in your Google Ads account and double or even triple the results without hoping to having to double your ad spend. So think of your profitable campaigns like a vending machine. You put in a dollar and it gives you $3 back. What would you say would be your next logical step? 
you'd put in $10, $100, or even $1,000, right? That's what we're going to be doing in this step. And here's exactly how you do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to gradually increase your budget. So take this campaign as an example. It is a profitable campaign. It's generating leads under our magical $200 threshold. It's generating a decent amount of leads of 42 leads. And it's saying here that my status, if I scroll across real quick, is limited by budget. So this is a clear sign that we are leaving money on the table. So what you want to do here is to gradually, and I do mean gradually, start increasing your budget. Small incremental increases help you scale safely without disrupting performance. Step two is to expand into new locations where appropriate. You've already found winning keywords and ad copy and landing pages. Now, why not just replicate that success into other locations? Now, this might not make sense for all kinds of businesses, particularly local businesses like a dentist, for example, where it's not really possible to, to roll out into further locations. But if you can, now is the time to do that. Step three is to test new keyword match types. If you're currently running exact match keywords, which only trigger your ads when people search for the exact keyword, consider testing phrase match type. And if you're already running phrase match, then possibly consider testing broad match. But I would say to test it cautiously. Just keep in mind, the broader you go with the match type, the more closely you will need to monitor your search terms report, like I showed you earlier in the video, to, to avoid irrelevant clicks. And step four, is to consider changing bid strategy. Switching to one of Google's automated bid strategies like maximize conversions or target CPA can also give you more leads. In fact, we've seen many, many instances where we've changed the bid strategy to one of the automated bid strategies. We didn't touch anything on the traffic side and simply that switch dramatically increased the volume of leads without having to do anything else. So just know though that eventually you will hit a ceiling with search campaigns. That is, there's only so much profitable search traffic available in any given area. For example, if you're a dentist, you can't make more people search for dentists near me in a given location. There's just a finite amount of those people. There's a natural limit. So when you reach that point, it might be time to explore other advertising strategies like retargeting, display or YouTube ads to continue scaling your business. So start with those steps. And as mentioned at the start of this video, make sure you also download our audit checklist for the full list of areas that you can optimize in your Google ad account. I'll put a link in the description as well. So definitely check it out. Let me know in the comments if you find this video helpful and be sure to check out our website teachtraffic.com. Thanks so much for watching.